Okay, this is uh, Mr. Weinerman, Lafayette High School. This is our Chapter 5 practice test. Uh, problem number 18, this is an alternate way to graph the tan function. And we're going to graph it by setting the asymptotes and then going halfway in between to find our y-intercept and then our other two points by going a quarter way across the period and three-quarters way across the period. Previous video, we, we did this strictly from a T table. Um, but how does this work? Okay, this works by this is the equation for the asymptotes. Um, now, normally, if B is equal 1 and there's no horizontal shift, uh, I'm going to have asymptotes at negative pi over 2, and then I'm going to have another one at, at pi over 2. And it's, uh, the graph is going to look something like that. Okay, well, we don't have that. Um, remember this point right here is right in the middle of that period. This point right here is three quarters of the way across. This point right here is one quarter of the way across. Okay, and that's how I get that. And then, um, the y-axis, that point is 1, and that point is negative 1. Okay, that's without any sort of uh, transformations. But we do have transformations. All right, and let's study those transformations. Okay, so this b, in this case, is 3 fourths, and the c is pi over 3. So that b plus c is just what is in parentheses of the function. Whatever's in parentheses of your function is what you put in for bx plus c. Uh, just word of caution. You know, if you have something out here, that does not belong in the parentheses. That is a vertical shift, so we don't have to consider that. Just what's in the parentheses. Okay, so now we have this. Negative pi is less than 3 fourths x plus pi over 3 uh, is less than pi over 2. All right, now it's just algebra time. A little tedious. I'm going to subtract pi over 3 from the middle and from both sides. And that's what we get. All right, by subtracting pi over 3 from everything. My next step is a division step. I've got to divide everything by 3 quarters, which is the same thing as multiplying by 4 thirds. Uh, and then I'd reduce my fractions. Okay. And um, now it's a mess. All right, this has a denominator of 9. I would never do this to you on a test and quiz because our scale factors on our graphs are not really set up for um, ninths. They're set up for 2, 3s, 4s, and 6s. Um, so um, how are we going to translate this graph? How are we going to plot this point? Uh, well, I did a little trick here, all right? I know we do have pi over threes, okay? There's uh, one-third pi, two-third pi, three-thirds pi, four-thirds pi. That's no problem, and I, and I can go to the other side, too. And what I did is I changed these pi over threes, multiplied top and bottom by three to make them ninths. All right, so that helps, but now I've got to estimate this one asymptote as negative 10 ninths. Well, that's a little bit bigger than 9 ninths. Uh, so I just kind of put that thing in there. Uh, and then the other one is 2 ninths. Uh, that's a little bit smaller than 3 ninths. And that's where I put that asymptote here. Now, I did a little bit of math in what is halfway across between negative 10 and positive 2. Well, halfway across is negative 4, which is going to be pretty close to this negative 3 ninths. And, and that's where I got that middle point from. Um, and then the rest of these points, um, I really kind of, I kind of estimated because I just kind of went halfway across from here to here. There was my three-quarter point halfway across from here to here, and that's where I got that point. And then I just connected it with my S-curve, 
and there is my cotangent function. Okay, that's how it's done, though. We plot our asymptotes, come in the middle, come in the quarter point, come in the three-quarter point, and plot our points. Um, the one-half, uh, normally this lead coefficient right here, uh, normally this guy and this guy are at one, but this guy here cuts them in half. If that lead coefficient was a two, then these points would be at two and negative two, so on and so forth. Um, for this particular graph, you know, because since the scale is so ugly, this this method was was really was really a bear. Uh, but normally, it, it it works out fine to either figure out where your asymptotes are, or in the previous video, work from a t table. So I guess uh, I guess you just kind of pick your pain, but. Uh, I will not give you one with, with these nasty denominators like that. That's, that's a little bit over the top. Okay, good luck with this problem.